Well, 2008 has been rough on Wall Street, especially the financials, who are once again the worst performing sector of the second quarter. We'll learn soon whether things are getting any better. A host of financial companies reporting earnings in the next few weeks. Now, here to tell us what she sees happening on the street and where things are headed, and to keep things in perspective, Wall Street veteran, veteran Muriel Siebert. Muriel, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Now, how do you feel about what's going on? Well, I feel that we've had a lot of changes in the industry. We've had derivatives. If we look now, it's been 20 years, and they've changed. They're powerful. Uh, we need margin. In my opinion, we need global securities regulations the same way we have global banking regulations. Have you seen anything like this in, in your career about what's going on with Wall Street and the financial sector? No, I haven't. I think it it's, has become too much of a gambling game. So you haven't, this is, for, it, it, I mean, you're a Wall Street veteran. You've been around, I mean, a long time, a long time let's face long it. Time. And you have such a, a, an encyclopedic knowledge and you have a lot of history and you're not a lot of background about what's going on, on Wall Street. That's pretty stunning for you to say that this is the probably the worst you've ever seen it. Well, it's the worst because I was a regulator for five years. I had to put my firm into Where were you life. a regulator? I was superintendent of banks. You and so so and and I had a firm which I had to put into a blind trust. Mm -hmm. And so I've seen I saw derivatives when they were just starting to happen. Mm -hmm. When they were being made and I said, we need tra transparency in this. What is the most disturbing thing that you see going on right now? Well, I would like to know in all of the futures trading in oil, how much of it is short? How much of it is for the purpose that futures were started for? Which means to help manufacturers create their costs so they know how to price their product. That's so how we started futures in oil and grains and corn and everything else. So, you two, I mean, it seems to me that it's not just transparency, though, but you're worried about where are the market cops, right? Where are the sheriffs well, down on Wall they? Street? And you see, what happened was you have hedge funds, which uh, who's, uh, they can borrow, but those, the, what they borrow is limited in this country. So if you want to borrow six, eight, ten times to one, you pick up and you go to London. Right. They have different things. This is why I say it's time to have global requirements. Because we have now seen so what's happened. Do you like to see the U.S.? I don't think the U.S. is stepping up. Uh, you know. No, I like to see the U.S. Like see be us? the leader, because now we have seen that the subprime mortgage mess, as I call it, is global. It's the gone viral time, around the world, yes, right? Yes, it's all around the world. Right. And I've I've read and I talk to people, and now they're starting to say maybe we should all have tighter standards. Right. People. Who two years ago when I mentioned this? Well, you, yeah. You, well, you've seen like Wall Street do these cut and paste jobs with these mortgage-backed securities, creating this drunken daisy chain that is extended, you know, from here to Norway to the Arctic to Australia. Exactly. And so, but you know, there really was very little market oversight uh, of that process. People were fighting the oversight. Yeah, because they a lot said of money. It was, it was adding liquidity to the market. And they still make that statement, right? They still, they still make, make that, that statement. Right. As a market goes down, up or down 300 points a day, a, a spread of that, they're making that statement. Why aren't they saying that that people will lose confidence in the market right. when we have that? And kind again, of we're talking about trillions of dollars worth of derivative, credit derivative trades, which you saw, you know, the, the, the industry association group saying, fighting, fighting the effort to bring more sunlight into those markets, to drag them onto uh, exchanges where they, you de do see more transparency. Because, hey, you get all these backroom deals, you get sweetheart deals, you get fees coming your way. Why do that, right? So there's an incentive not to bring it out into the, the sunlight. The firms made billions. They made a lot of money. Right. As I have said it, the cash was too fast and too vast. Too <laughs> so listen, I want to ask you something. What, what companies are you most worried about? Well, I think the banks will get out, some of the banks will get out of their trouble, but it's going to take time. How long do you think this will take? I don't know. You know, I looked at some of them with the write-offs. I thought an estimate of 10 years, 15 years. Wow, that's a long time. Well, when we, more get shock housing, on weddings, when right? we get, yeah, when we get housing starting to perk right. up, then, then we'll be in much better We're shape. We're in the weeds for about five years at least, I bet, right? I don't know if it's five years, but I, 
I use housing as the, the yardstick in this. And you know, we did try, we right. thought every American should be able to own a home. Right. But there were some people that cheated in the mess. Right, yeah. Should the government do that big housing bailout package? There should be some kind of a package because, you know, the government loaned Chrysler money once when they were in trouble. Mm -hmm. They got paid for it. They made money on it. They made, oh, I see. They loaned Lockheed so money. So you're saying when they if, were if the trouble. government can make money on the housing bailout bill, they should do it? They should do some kind of a bill, but it's a business. It's got to be done, not as a gift, because then you would have to separate who do you help and who do you not help. Here we got Wall Street's great freelance and costly experiment to bring 100% home ownership to the United States. Wow. You know, this was a heck of a ride. And, you know, Muriel, we hope you come back and help us explain things to viewers and just join us with your insights. You're, you're wonderful and you're so smart. We so appreciate you joining us. I'm delighted to Thank be you here. For I'll being be glad here. to come back. Good. Delighted. Thank you.